show you how to sort of pass and prevent single leg X from the sort of entry positions. I want to show you an entry for single, uh, single leg X from the double underhook butterfly and then what we're going to do we're going to look to pass single leg X from when we get there and also how to prevent them from getting single leg X in the first place. So, so it's just a few concepts that we can play around with. So first off imagine we've done all the hard work anyway and we get double underhooks and Carson. Now in the gi like no gi you grab like a grip like this okay like double underhooks yeah Gi, you can actually have both hands on the belt. Doesn't really make much of a difference. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna suck my bum underneath Carson, yeah? As I roll to my back, I'm gonna extend my legs, yeah? But my, the lower, uh, the upper part of my back, like on my shoulders, has to hit the floor before I extend my legs. Too many people try and extend their legs too early and it doesn't work. So look, Carson's gonna base his hands. So look, I'm gonna go here and then lift the legs. And I'm just gonna kick out and get to this position as part of the drill. Go here, see how my back's on the floor. It's really important that my back is on the floor to help support my legs. And then I kick forward. If I try and go too early, ugh, I'm not gonna get much lift, because I need my back on the floor. It's like an exaggerated uh, leg press, okay? I want us to go like five for five. We're gonna spend three minutes on this, it's really easy. And this is gonna be our entry point to get single leg X. Okay, so grab a partner and let's go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of the concepts of going into single leg X revolve around me pulling myself underneath my partner. Okay? Now, because Carson is pretty me, I'll probably be able to pull him towards me, you know what I mean, with my super biceps. But if I was against somebody like Sam, who's super strong, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that. That's my big honor line. <laughs> but the only way I'm going to be able to do stuff like this is by pulling myself underneath my partner, which doesn't require as much strength. Yeah? So when I'm hitting with Carson, if I just try and pull him, it's not going to work. But if I scoop my hips underneath him, and that's the difference now. Now we're in this position, my hands shoot up into his armpits. I'm going to strain one leg. See this? Now we're in single leg X. Okay, he's on, his, uh, he's on his both feet there, and I'm ready to go. Do whatever you want to do. Let's go back. So, my hands switch from the belt, and they're going to like C cup grips under his armpits. And what I'm going to do with his arms, because his weight's in his hands, I'm going to shoot him one way, I'm going to straighten one of my legs. That's going to decide which way I'm going to go. So, look, we're here. He's too strong, so I'll pull myself underneath him. And we'll get to this position. Keep my toes live so he doesn't fall. Hands go here. I'm going to straighten one of my legs. If I straighten this leg, I'm going to push him this way to here. Hips go up. My, my foot's pointing outside. My heel's inside here. And my legs are up here. My hips are alive when I do this technique here. Okay? If my hips drop, it's going to be a lot easier for Carson to pass. But I want to be holding this leg so it's underneath here so we can't get it out and I'm stuck to him now. This is my single leg X position. The uh, single leg X. So Blay is unwittingly done what we're going to do later on in this. Now I can walk myself back and then I can stop doing that single leg X. But we'll do that later. Yeah. We'll do that later. Is that like top secret information then? Yeah, that's going to be later on in the uh, vlog. 
Some people call it a birth defect, but I call it an advantage. Yeah. Subscribe, definitely subscribe. Do it twice. So I'm pushing him off at an angle. I'm not staying here, I'm pushing him a bit here. And then, because this leg's come outside. <laughs> The job is now uh, to the guy on top. We're going to look to pass. Uh, pass is going to put me in single leg X in this way. Yeah. So now we're in this position. We're in single leg X here. First off, foremost, I don't want him to grab this foot. He can grab this foot and get swept. I'm always here. So I'm sort of side on. And what I can do, I grab his toes. You can either grab here or here. It doesn't really matter which. And what I'm doing, I'm going to put my weight here. I'm going to push his toes out this way. Okay, so I'm creating a bit of tension here. Basically, he wants to be able to like kick this leg this way. The straighter his leg is, the harder he's going to be able to do that. If he's here, he might be able to kick his leg back under me. The further out he is, the harder. Now to do this pass, I have to come off the flat of my foot. If, everybody, if you just move your hand, I'm going to come onto my heel. So I'm balancing all my weight now on my heel. And I'm going to go here. And slide. When I get to this position, I'm going to look to hug the head. And keep myself tight here. Whenever I'm hugging the head, I'm not, I'm not keeping this as my last position. I'm just doing this to sort of stabilise myself. I can do this now. I can pick this leg up now. I can come here. Bring my elbow underneath this. I can look to just pull him into mount. Do you like in that S position, man? Uh, a little bit, but it's only just to hold, just to stabilise myself. I might go all the way around, it's just so it doesn't put me back in single leg X. The only with this, I want to get as far away from his legs as I can. Uh, keep the uh, angle over Now, if I don't come to my heel, so imagine I'm here. If I don't come to my heel, I'm going to struggle getting around. If I'm here, I'm right here. See that? I can pass through that quite quickly. And then I can hold this head. Pass it here. There are triangles and stuff that you can kick from this position. You know what I mean? And if you know how to do them, I suggest you do. You can pull them over and start working maybe with modifiers and stuff like that. But I'm pulling into mount, <laughs> so that's the main goal. We're going to pass them out. So we'll go again. It's important that we're coming onto that heel. So look, we're here. Maybe get a little bend so that I'm a little closer to the ground, keeping this leg away from me. Getting that leg straight. On the heel, passing this leg, hold this head, otherwise I might fall, I might pull this up, or just pull him up into mount. Okay? Let's just try that, let's give it a go. I really want to see people standing on that heel, it's important, especially if he's got a tight ankle over it, he ain't going to pass without coming to that heel. Let's go. <laughs> Once Carson straightened this leg out, yeah? I know this is my only leg stopping him from getting into mount. Yeah? So I'm gonna try my hardest just to keep this incise pass. Hit my elbow, hit my elbow. Yeah? Notice how it was like. Like little hops yeah. to get over that leg. I'm not being a cunt. Like, I'm just playing this position how I would do. I'm not just gonna go. 
person now. Yeah? yeah. Well, what world am I going to do that? Mm. Let's go again. I'm going to make sure that he has to work to bypass his leg, which reinforces good leg positioning here and good balance. So he's here, he pushes that away. That's it, he picks my elbow off. And there we go. Okay, let's continue going what we're doing. Make sure the guy on the bottom is doing his job and not just releasing this leg too early. Let's go. So let's go. Let's go. <laughs> now, somebody like Sam is doing this really well, okay? And we're just talking about this, and it's that consistent pressure on that knee. Sometimes you might have to go all the way around to beat his legs. Basically, our job to pass the single leg X is to get as far away from his legs as we can. Now, Sam's a bendy guy. Yeah, he's got like really good guard retention and whatnot. So, like, when we're here in the single leg X, yeah, so I'm getting to here, I'm pushing this leg, and I'm here. Whoa, yeah. Yeah. And I might have to go round to the other side to pass that leg. Notice how his legs are trying to follow me the whole way. So, don't stop here. I'll keep going all the way around to get around those legs. Sometimes the guy in the bottom position. Now, sometimes when I realise he's straining that leg, I might try not to put my leg in for an X hook now. So when I'm here on single leg X, and he straightens that leg of mine here, yeah, I might be like, ah, fuck this, and try and put my foot here for my X hook. And we're going to preempt that, especially if I'm not stronger than Carson. He strains my leg. Yeah, keep it straight. I'm trying to put it underneath. But in that, he has time to do something else, yeah? I'm going to be getting this back here. The only reason why he can't go this way is because he's pushing my leg this side. As this leg goes underneath, as I'm going for my X hook, I'm giving him the opportunity to go this way now, which is what we're going to do next. So Carson's going to go on his back. So we're in single leg X, yeah? We'll go here. We'll go for the X hook now. So this is the X hook, yeah? Yeah, that's it. Now, with this pass, if you do it fast, you don't want to be, uh, when you're doing this real time, you don't want to be nice with this. So let's go back. So basically, I'm straining his leg as it comes underneath. What I'm going to do, I'm going to drop my knee to his chest and base my hand. And all I'm going to do is set back. Yeah? I did that really slow, but realistically, when I do this fast, I'm smashing my knee into his chest. And then from here, I can come straight back into side control. So look, we'll go again. Two things happen at the same time. My knee goes to his chest, yeah? My hand goes to the mat. Pass away. I'm right with this way. Go on, yeah. This is so little, isn't it? Five more times, but. How many more times are you? And it's a big step back, yeah? That's what I want us to focus on doing. And because it's got to be a big long step back, so you've got to get over the leg. And because you're going to go with that control for a split second, he might try and catch you as you do it. The higher you go, the longer you go, the last chance he's got is going to do it. In the face. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, he goes next up. That's excellent. Yeah, good. So, look, as I'm here. <laughs> Big step back. My hips don't hit the mat for this. One more. Knee, hand. Big step back. Okay? 
Matt, just do that again. Yeah. Matt, just do that again. 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 Matt, just do that Oh, you can call it out. My bad. I'm just going to wait for you to get there. That's what you're supposed to do. Nah, nah. Thanks, Grace, for it. And you should know that I know that it's never good. Just tell me good. So I'll go back, go back. Yeah, it's definitely not. I'm going to get it to fuck it. I'm going to put this in. One for one for single leg X. Go on the bottom, you've got to sweep. Carson, you need you. The go on the bottom, you've got to sweep or submit him. A sweep, by the way, guys, is when I come onto a top position. If I sit into his ass, but don't come on top, that's not a sweep. So if I'm here with Carson, and let's say I managed to get this, or even this, yeah? And I'm just, we both sat here. I haven't swept him yet. I haven't swept him until I've come up. So he can still fight from this position. So all the sweeps we've been doing in the last few weeks, where we've been grabbing this, coming through, lifting, driving him down this way. Let's go back, just a quick recap. If I go to do it, grab my collar, I'll pull him up, then rotate him through. Um, then we had the ones where I'm grabbing the sleeve, we're going arrow, arrow down maybe. So like, we're here, and I get the sleeve, pull through. Yeah, that sort of stuff where we're sweeping them. That's what I want to get on top. His job is to pass my guard, so I control mount time my back, whatever. Okay? Disqualification. Disqualified. Good class, guys, my man.
Like and subscribe.